Hey guys, in today's video we are going to be making this um, sunflower granny square. I'm going to be making a blanket out of this for my daughter. It's her senior year of high school and this is what she asked for me to make for her. So to get started, I am using I Love This Yarn brand from Hobby Lobby and we're using a dark brown. This is the toasted almond. Um, I'm going to start using, I think, this um, kind of off-white, more cream color. In this one, I used white white, so it just depends on what your um, preference is there. You're going to use this kind of goldenrod yellow and then like a dark forest green color. I am also using an H furls hook for this project. You're going to want some scissors and a yarn needle to get started. So let's grab all of our supplies and we'll get going. All right, to get started, we're going to start with our dark brown so we can make the center part of our granny square. So we're going to start with a magic ring. And then once you make your ring, go ahead and chain three. There will be parts of this video that I speed up, so you'll want to pause at those points to catch up to that part in the video or that part in the pattern. And then we can continue on together after that. All right, so after you make your chain three, you're gonna go ahead and make 15 double crochets all in your magic ring. All right, so you should have with your original chain that does count as your first double crochet of this round. You should have a total of 16 double crochets at the end of round one. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that tail and you're gonna wanna pull it out really tight so that we don't have an opening in the middle. Once you have that done, you're gonna slip stitch into the very top of your ch original chain that you made at the beginning. So this is what that will look like once you do that. Okay, so I go ahead and finish off each round as I go. You can um, just leave that for the end if you want, but I just find it finishes a little bit better if we go ahead and weave in the ends of each round as we work them. All right, so that is what we have so far, just a brown circle. So at this point, you're gonna wanna grab your toasted almond color, and that's this color. And we'll start on round two. So for round two, we're gonna be making a puff stitch. So you can join your yarn at any stitch uh, of this round. So just pick a stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and go ahead and chain two. So to make our puff stitch, we're gonna yarn over, insert into that same stitch as your chain, pull up your loop, and you're gonna to wanna to add some height to that. So they need to be kinda of even on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook again, pull up your loop, okay? And yarn over, insert your hook again, pull up your loop. So that's what that will look like on your loop. And you do that three times, and then you're gonna yarn over and pull through all of the loops on your hook. And at this point, I kinda of pull on that tail to tighten that stitch a bit, and then you just chain one and that is our first puff stitch so I'm going to show you that one more time and then you'll work one puff stitch in each um, stitch from the previous round so you'll have a total of 16 puff stitch so insert your hook pull up your loop insert your hook pull up your loop insert your hook pull up your loop so a total of three times yarn over and pull through all the loops and then chain one. Make sure you chain one in between each puff stitch. So like I said, go ahead and just keep going and you'll have a total of 16 puff stitch stitches at the end of round two. And then we will move on to our yellow and round three. Okay, so once you get to the end of round two, after you've made your last chain one, go ahead and slip stitch to that very first stitch that you made. Okay, and that's what it'll look like so far. So go ahead and cut your yarn and weave in those ends and then we will start on round three. All right, so at this point, you're gonna insert your hook in between 
um, two puff stitches so underneath one of the chains that you made you're gonna pull up your yarn and you're gonna chain two and this time we're going to do um, double crochets together so for the first one since we have our chain two this does count as one so we're going to make three double crochets together for this one so you're gonna in, let me show you that okay so you're going to insert your hook pull up your loop and then yarn over and pull to the first two okay so that's one you're gonna yarn over insert your hook pull up your loop yarn over pull to the first two that's two do that one more time so insert your hook pull up your loop yarn over pull to the first two so you have three now four counting that first chain two yarn over and then pull through all through all of your loops on your hook so we just cr double crochet together in between each stitch this time we're going to chain two okay and then you're going to work in between each puff stitch that you make so this time so this will be a little bit different than the first one we're just going to yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two we're going to do that four times okay so at this point you will have five loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and then pull through all of those loops and then chain two okay so you'll just continue that pattern around working between each puff stitch and you will have again a total of 16 of these um, double crochets together after round three so continue around until you finish up making two chains in between each stitch and we will meet back for round four all right, if you haven't already finished it off, just slip stitch to that first stitch that you made and weave in your ends. And this is what the first three rounds of this pattern looks like. So next you're gonna grab your white and I am using the ivory um, color, but you can use um, any white um, color that you want for this. So we're going to start off in between our stitches. So again, under your chains that you made and it doesn't matter which one you start in. You're gonna go ahead pull up a loop and we're gonna chain four this time we're gonna start off by making a corner and so right now our granny square is round we need to make it squared off so this is what where this comes in so this first um, stitch set of stitches that we're going to make here is going to make our first corner so do your chain four and then we're going to triple crochet so yarn over two times insert your hook pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull to the last through, last two, sorry. So that is a triple crochet. We're going to do that one more time. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull two th through two. So counting our first chain which does count as our first triple crochet we have three triple crochets made now we are going to chain two and this makes the very corner of our this round all right we're going to now in the same stitch that we started in we're going to make three more triple crochets Okay, so that makes the corner of round four. So after this, we're going to chain one, and then in that next chain space, we're going to make three double crochets. After your three double crochets chain one in the next chain space we're going to do three half double crochets
Okay, again, chain one. So next we're going to do another three double crochets in the next chain space. And then chain one. So this makes like the top edge of our square. So now we're going to do another corner. So we're going to yarn over twice and make three triple crochets. All right, after our three, first three triple crochets, we're gonna chain two. So at each corner, you'll make two chains instead of one. All right, make three more triple crochets. Okay, so that is our second corner made and that's what that will look like so far. Okay, so we're going to repeat this middle part here again. So we're going to chain one and then three double crochets in our next chain space. All right, chain one. And then you're going to make three half double crochets in the next. Chain one and then three double crochets. And then chain one. All right, so this is what we have so far. So you can go ahead and continue on around in your next um, chain space. You'll make another corner. So three triple crochets, chain two, three triple crochets all in that same stitch. And then three double crochets, three half double crochets, three double crochets. So if you need to go back and rewatch this part to finish off the other two sides of your square, go ahead and do so. And I will meet you back at the end of this round. Okay. so. We are at the end of round four. We are going to continue on one more round with the same color. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to go ahead and slip stitch to that first chain four that we made. And then let's go ahead and chain three. And then for this round, we're actually going to turn our work over and we're going to work the opposite direction. It just makes your granny squares look more flat when you do that. Um, like a regular granny square pattern, you would flip back and forth um, and turn each time you do in a round. All right, so we're gonna start off with, so that chains three counts as your first stitch. So make two more double crochets in that chain space. All right, chain one. And in the next one, you'll make your three double crochets. So this round will all be double crochets. Okay, chain one, three double crochets. You're gonna do this all the way across and in the corner we'll do it a little bit different but along the edges you'll just put three double crochets in each chain space and then chain one in between. So do that one more time. Okay, so go ahead and make your chain one now we're going to work into this corner. We're going to make our three double crochets. And that will finish off this edge of our square. Okay. And in each corner after your first set of three double crochets, you're going to chain two. So just like the last round, you'll make chain twos in each corner and then chain ones in between each other set of stitches. All right. So after your chain two, go ahead and make in the same stitch, three more double crochets. Okay, and then chain one after that. So this is what that looks like so far. Okay, so then 
you're just going to keep doing that around. So in each chain space across the edge, you're just going to make your three double crochets and chain one in between each one. And then in your corner, you do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So go ahead and finish that pattern all the way around and we will meet off at the end of this round and we will do our edging round. All right, so go ahead and finish off your white color with your slip stitch to that first uh, chain that we made. Weave in those ends and then we'll grab our dark green to do our edging. Okay, so at this point, we are now gonna wanna turn our piece back over. This is the front of our piece. So we're gonna grab our green yarn and I'm gonna start in our my chain two corner. So in each chain two of your corner, you're gonna make two single crochets in each of those in every corner. So go ahead and, ch and pull up your loop, chain one, and then make two single crochets. Okay, when you get back around, you're gonna make another two in that last chain there to finish it off. And then you're just going to put one single crochet across in each stitch until you get to the next corner. And that's all we're gonna do for our edging. Okay, so just work your way across. And again, when you get to the next corner, this chain, chain two space right here, you're gonna put two single crochets in the first one and two sec single crochets in the second chain. And do that in all of your corners. And that'll make a nice um, rounded look to your granny square. So go ahead and make your single crochets around and we will meet back to finish it off. All right guys, our granny square is now complete. Go ahead and make your slip stitch. Weave in that last in there and you are finished with your first granny square. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Also hit the subscribe button. Next week I will be adding videos on how to block your granny squares. So how to make them stay nice and flat and stretched out the way they need to be because right now you can see they're kind of a little bit wavy and then i will also have a video on how to connect your granny squares so go ahead and make a bunch of these and then we will come back next week and we will finish off our piece so um, thank you for joining me in crocheting today and i will see you in the next video